Good morning. Hi there. Happy Saturday. I am the Moon Mama and today is Saturday and Saturday is the day that Saturn governs. Saturn is, um, Saturn in astrology is a real doozy of an energy. <laughs> um, Saturn, like, so let me start by saying, you know, what my intention is for being here and just hello, how you guys doing? Um, my intention for being here, the reason that I'm here every day is because I am devoted to people really um, beginning to have an understanding of how this reality we're in really works. We have been sort of trapped <laughs> and it doesn't seem like it, right? Because it it's hard to see. You can't see it with your you can't see it with your physical eyes. But we've been trapped in a mindset and conditioning and ways of being that have us really functioning in ways that are not true to who we really are. And um and the and the way we've been trapped is because we live in a society and a culture that does things backwards than nature. It does things in the opposite of what nature does them. And and so it's almost like the culture has flipped things upside down, right? And um and because things are flipped upside down, we are functioning outside of our natural ways of functioning. We're not actually accessing our real power, our real gifts. We're we're out of alignment with nature. Things are hard when they should be easy. Um, you know, just all these things and 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 there are ways that it's been done. Like one of the ways that it's been done is that you know, in the Bible, in Western religion, they've made all of the deities men. Everything in the Bible is like he said and he and he and he and all of this sort of stuff. And, you know, those those narratives, those stories, those mythologies, when they don't include the feminine aspect, when we are when when the feminine doesn't see herself, perceive her reality, then she has no power. So so what happens in that, just in that scenario where all the religious mythologi mythological stories are framed in the masculine, we don't have our feminine power, which is our internal power, which is everything. <laughs> it's everything. We need our feminine power. And so the feminine is relegated to this sort of crazy, helpless, insane, you know, um, and, and, and just doesn't have any power. So what that does is that that filters through our psyches as, you know, as in our, it shows up in our physical world reality, right? And it shows up where women feel like we, we, we feel helpless. We feel insecure. We feel like we need protecting. We feel like children because of the way the narratives and the mythology is playing out in our world. Does this make sense? Because I don't, I don't want to talk too far off from the, um, from where from what makes sense, right? Because I just love this stuff, so it just feels like a story to me. But um, but we see it in our communities. Our relationships between the masculine and feminine are really um, are handicapped because we don't understand the roles, the energies, how they work, and because the feminine has been conditioned to believe that, you know. Um, what are some of the things we're conditioned to believe? We're conditioned to believe that our sex that our sexuality is um precious. Our sexuality is precious, right? It's like, uh, that's that European shit. <laughs> that's that fucking European shit. That's you know, they need to have precious sexuality because then the men feel seen and loved and because they don't really have any real power. So they need that sort of those precious scenarios, that Prince Charming shit. But as people who are, um, are spiritually strong and spiritually astute, our preciousness doesn't come from false ways of like, 
needing humans to make you feel special. Our preciousness is that we are connected to the source of all things. We are, we are precious because we can bend realities with our thinking and with our, with our devotion to nature. And like this makes you, like your magic makes you fucking precious. You don't need somebody being like, oh, I love you so much. And oh my goodness. You don't need that shit because you're like, yeah, you know, uh, Okay, so I think I got lost. I think I got lost. But the reason that, I, I, that I'm here is that it's really my intention to help us understand how this reality really works, right? Because if we don't understand how it works, we don't, we suffer. <laughs> we suffer. We suffer. And so the moon, the moon is the most profound way to really understand how the reality works because the moon is ref is reflecting the light of the sun um which is uh charged in our psyches right because our psyche the moon is the memory the moon is the psyche the moon is the subconscious right so when we understand our relationship to the moon we understand our relationship to past lives to energies all of that sort of stuff so i am here to help us really become more astute at this so that we are not subject to these ways that are against nature so that we become less and less subject to it. So that's why I'm here. And I have to remind myself of that because, um, you know, what inspires me is that when I was a little girl growing up, I grew up in Watts. I grew up, and if you guys study history, you know, in the 60s, there was just all of this tension within black people because our powers, like there were some astrological things going on in the 60s that were having us become more aware of who we were. And then they, the system, like there really is some stuff to what's happening. And I don't know how to talk about it in a way that doesn't seem too crazy or whatever. But if you, if you study the history and all of that and the astrology, there is a, there is a real um, system in place that is designed to keep people out of their power. That's all I can say, right? And I don't really want to be in conspiracy about it because that's fucking a waste of time. Conspiracy theory is a waste of time. We need fucking solutions, okay? So literally something so simple as the moon can begin to reprogram us so that we are not so that we're not subject to the mindset. So we have to do things like turn off the TV. You cannot listen to the stuff. It programs your mind. It pro because we're susceptible to the thinking. We're susceptible. And these things are hard to understand, but you have to slowly wean yourself. Wean yourself off of the things that keep you stuck in the mindset. You have to wean yourself off of it, right? Um, so, you know, like if you just read more books and watch and study to understand, like, like rather than be looking for entertainment, be in search of your freedom, your liberation, right? Let your freedom and your liberation become your entertainment. Really let your freedom and your liberation become your entertainment because this system is going to be continually doing things to draw the power and the energy towards it. And we have to want to free ourselves. We have to want to free ourselves. And if you really, really, really want to be free, uh, you can have it. It's not, you. nothing will keep you from it if you want it, right? And if you really want freedom, the universe will then conspire to make sure that you have everything you need for your freedom. But it has to be sincere from your heart. You have to, like, you cannot lie to the divine. You cannot lie to the electromagnetic field that's around you. You cannot lie to your psyche, right? So if you just really want to get money or things, you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get stuck in cycles, right? And that's the trick of this entire thing. It's fucking capitalism. And capitalism is a fine line, right? Because we need money to be here. You do. You need money to be here. 
but you cannot be owned by the money. So you have to really negotiate your relationship with capitalism. And that will be the core determining factor for your level of freedom or not. You know, it's like it said the rich man couldn't pass through the eye of the needle, right? Um, like it will be easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it would be for a rich man. So capitalism is the, the trick here. And you you need need money so you cannot you cannot rebuke money right it's that's you got to eat you got to you know what i'm saying right but you have to really begin to negotiate your relationship with the economy so that you can thrive and so that you are not a slave so that you're not hooked in by the devil that is this thing called money it is a trick Oh, oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking to you guys like this today. So this is the Aquarius energy, the Aquarius full moon. It's like this energy is like liberation. Um, yes, you have to negotiate your, <laughs> that's right. You got to negotiate your relationship with capitalism to be here because like I said, money is necessary. It's it's like money and food, right? So a person who's obese understands they, they can't stop eating but they have to change their relationship with the way they eat. So we can't stop having money, but you have to change your relationship with the way that you are relating to money, right? It's like, um, there are things that we really need. We need food, we need water, we need money, we need sex, right? Really, people don't understand how valuable sex is. Sex is medicine, we need sex. And a lot of women I see will, will get older and stop having sex because of whatever. That is not good. You have to renegotiate your relationship with your sexuality because sex is it sex help us ground our energy in the body and it helps us understand our connection to pleasure and um and it aligns our chakras like sex is really significant. So you can't you can stop having sex. I'm not saying that you can't, but I'm saying that it's important for us to renegotiate our relationship to what it means to be on earth here at this time. Because as the old construct comes undone, we need to really understand how to thrive here. And I hear a lot of black communities talking about economy and all this kind of shit. And that's good, right? But we are spiritual people. We are spiritual people. And we have to come to everything through a spiritual understanding. And, you know, if we're coming to it through this capitalistic get, 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 you know, um, if we're coming to it through m manipulating and, 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 um, and vampiring other people to get money and well, then, then we're out of alignment. Then we're out of alignment, right? It is not, I, you know, one of the things I always tell myself, I don't want to have power and do to it and use it the way white people use it. I don't want to get power and use it to abuse other people or the earth or any of those kind of things. I want to have power and use it in tandem with the divine. I want to really be connected to source because in that way, then what I do is not only good for me, but it's good for others. We don't want to create more fucking suffering. Like what's the fucking point if we're going to create more suffering? just creates more karma, right? It just creates more karma. So the moon, we're having a full moon. It's the second full moon in Aquarius. And we have been in these. So what we have been doing for the last, since last September, it's like we've been going up steps, but we've been taking like three steps up and then two steps back and then three steps up and then two steps back in the geometry of these new and full moons, right? That's what it's been doing. And it's been happening throughout the Zodiac and it's been happening in every area of our lives. So we've been kind of off kilter all year long. It's kind of been a, you know, it's kind of been a wobble. They've been talking about the moon wobble, right? If you've been paying attention to the astronomy and stuff like that, they've been saying the moon has been a wobble and, and we're gonna have all these tides that are off now and the water's off. So we have been a part of that wobble. And now that wobble is coming back to its alignment, right? And so as it comes back to the alignment, 
It's literally we're new now. We're, we're in a different frequency. So you want to start. It's about your blueprint. This stuff is so fucking esoteric. Okay, right. Damn. So it's about your blueprint and it's Uranus. So Uranus in your natal chart. You want to just be looking at Uranus in your natal chart and getting curious about who you really are. What are you up to? And if you want to, you can book a reading with me and I'll have a conversation with you about it. You can do the transit readings or something like that. And we'll talk about Uranus in your natal chart. But Uranus in your natal chart is your edge for the eight is your edge for the age of Aquarius, right? And we have had two full moons in Aquarius. We've been on this moon wobble. They've been talking about it. The scientists are talking about it. But it's also emotional because the water governs the emotions in the body, right? So it's impacting us as well. So it's you're coming back to your blueprint. Uranus in... Um, Uranus in your natal chart. So I have Uranus in Virgo. So I'm just sharing mine so that maybe it can help you translate yours. Okay. So I have Uranus in Virgo at the 29th degree. So that means that I have a, a mastery, like I'm a master healer is what I am, right? I can literally see something in my mind, hold a new thought as higher self, see it in a new way, and it will transmute into that. The more I can practice these gifts, the stronger and stronger they get. And then I, I can feel electricity in my hand. Um, I can heal people. Like this is this is Uranus at the 29th degree of Virgo. It's a master degree healer. So this energy is being activated in me and it's in my seventh house though. So it's about with others, right? So where is Uranus in your chart? Um, what is your Aquarius energy, your blueprint? What are you really up to? What are you here for? Do some prayer and meditation around it. And it's time for you to devote yourself to that. <laughs> That's what you're here to be devoted to. I understand people's jobs are going away because they can't work for various reasons anymore. If you, if you don't do this and all that sort of stuff. So literally you want to tap into your divine purpose. If you have some job that's telling you, you can or you blah, 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 blah. Uranus now is really opening up because Uranus in your natal chart is what you're here to be and do. But then Uranus is currently in, um, Uranus is in Taurus right now. So it's our, our earthly experiences and agreements and contracts are shifting now lightning like 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 whatever all sorts of relationships are ending contra just just it's over right and so there's something else new for you to do i remember when this started happening for me i was like well damn i'm only like 40 something it's not like i'm about to die it's not like i have i still have time here so i need to get clear about what i'm up to like what am i going to be doing here right so you want to start asking like well what am i up to and and you want to feel into this this is not something you want to be listening to a whole lot of logic and fear around you want to really be um asking yourself in a deeper way what am i up to what 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 did God put me in this body for? You know, and what does it mean to be in the body that you're in? What's the what's the archetypal energies that are present, right? You want to just be getting clear about what you're up to. I know that I'm a messenger. I know that I'm a messenger. I know, and this is what I this is why I study. I because I know that I am here to I stand in the gateway, right? I stand in the gateway between um the age of Pisces and the age of Aquarius. And I'm assisting people in coming out of um, old ways of thinking and being and into new ways of identifying themselves. And that's what I do. That's what my classes are about. It's helping people ask, what is this about? How is I relating? Why Why am I doing this? What could, What else could I do? What are these patterns? Like, this is what I do, right? So I know what I'm here for. I know that I'm a messenger. I know that I'm a way shore, right? And I know that um, I, I understand the bigger picture because I read the astrology. And and I know that the path is narrow. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thing I know. I know that the path is narrow. So um, so I, don't help, I hold no um, judgment of people, whatever we're going through. I know that we've been, we've been letting, we're letting go of a lot of really um, painful, um, shadowy energies. A lot of us are coming from 
um, from sexual abuse, sexual addiction. Se so I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't care. Okay. Cause I know that we're getting free from that. That's what we're here to do. We're here to get free from that stuff. We've been carrying generations of pains and agonies and suffering because of what we've been through in this country. And it shows up in really shadowy ways. So I don't give a fuck about it. Okay, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to, I'm not doing the, he did this and she did that and men are this. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, okay? We're here to get free from all of those narratives so that we can come into our godness. That's the, that's the European narrative that is keeping us trapped in these navel picking, you know, stuff, in those capitalistic notions. We are here to get free from that. I'm here to create technologies that reprogram our pattern and our brains and our nervous systems so we can be who we're here to be. I don't give a fuck about that old shit. So if you got it going on, come, let's sit down, let's talk about it, let's look at it. Let's free ourselves. Let's free ourselves. We're carrying our ancestral traumas. That's all they are. They're traumas, they're stories, they're narratives. They live in our bodies. They hurt. Yes, they hurt. Oh my God, do they hurt? Oh, they're painful as fuck, but let's free ourselves. Let's free ourselves. And we have all sorts of tools now that we can free ourselves from these things, these stories, these narratives, these behaviors that are preventing us from really moving forward. They live in our minds, right? They live in our minds. They really do. So the full moon is coming in. Today is a Saturn day. I'm talking a lot. Okay. Saturn is at the eighth degree of um, Aquarius. Saturn is our karma. And Aquarius is like we're releasing our karma. That's what I was just saying. Let's get free from that stuff, right? We're releasing our karma. Saturn is cause and effect. We're releasing the thoughts, the belief systems, the patterns that got us into circumstances and situations that... Um, took our authority away, took our identity away, right? It's You have to understand that these things don't happen overnight. They don't happen in a vacuum, right? You, you're a child and somebody says to you, you know, you don't fit in or you don't belong or your mama didn't want you or your mama, like somebody says something to you, that shit goes into your brain and just seeds itself in there and you just hold all those beliefs and then you walk around feeling like you don't belong and all that kind of shit is real right or somebody says you know because you're light skin and you have long hair you're special and then you really like you you would carry this stuff this stuff lives in us <laughs> these stories really are things that we have to really look inside of ourselves because they make us mean, they give us meaning in our lives that harm us or give us false experience with life. You know, I know like for me, like my mother was, I grew up in a family of women who were light skinned. Their mother was half white, right? And they really felt like they, they really thought they were special because of the way they looked. They really did. They really did. And that was, that did so much harm to my mother because when she got to be in her 40s and she didn't have she didn't have the things that really made her feel valuable all her value was in her body and how she looked so she really started to suffer she really started to realize that you know believing that her body was the thing that was going to make her happy or get her protection and love was a real thing that she had to counteract. And many of us take these narratives as true and they're fucking not true. You are not your body. You are not your skin complexion. You are not your long hair. You are not your big dick. You are not your money. You are not your, all these things don't really matter. They don't, they just, they just, they just are, they're just decoys. They're decoys that we, um, give power to that we then fuel power in hoping that it pays off in some way. So right now we need to get our energy out of the decoys and really put our power in the truth of who we really are. And who we really are is divine source energy. And, and when we let go of these narratives, we can get ourselves free. So that's what I'm saying. We want to undo the karma, right? Like 
What's the karma around these beliefs and practices? And, you know, we don't get along with one another. We do like just all this stuff. We want to really begin to look internally to undo it so that we can transmute the power so that we can alchemize it and get ourselves free from the construct that is the Western way of thinking. Okay, and the Aquarius full moon is here to help us do that. All right, y'all, so if you wanna check out the Saturn and Aquarius class, um, you can do that. That is truly about your identity. It's your identity here in the earth realm. It's like you, if you really wanna access the energy to be who you're really here on the earth realm to be, because Saturn and Aquarius is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, what you anchor yourselves in. And so it's like, how do you bring your divine self to the earth realm? How do you anchor in you know, what you were born to do so that you can live that out in your purpose? You know, The first thing you've got to do is believe that you actually have a purpose. You have to believe, you have to anchor into your, you have to believe that you're here for something at this time for something. So if you want to begin to understand that the Saturn and Aquarius class will help with that. We have a full moon and that's all. Okay, you guys, I love y'all. Have a good day. I have a client in 30 minutes. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.